Life is based on choices, choices that you deliberately have to make on your own because it's from these very same choices that your living is based upon. It is also important to understand that not everyone will understand your pursuit and vision at the start level, but as you continue to conquer and endure challenges, they then will see the need for your frantic efforts to be different in following your passion. Modern photography was birthed from such a mindset, one that the entrepreneur found to be inspiring. My name is Moses Odanga. Um, I am a part-time photographer who is based in Mombasa. The secret about being inspired each day is looking for something positive in each day, even though some days you have to look a little harder. What inspired modern photography to be where it is right now, um, I give a lot of credit and attribute to my elder brother, uh, Ruben, who has been doing it for quite a while. And at the point to which I was starting, uh, I think the first time he asked me, would you prefer to be a model or be the person behind that camera? A lot of thinking, I realized being behind the camera would be a, a much fun experience. And then after that, I think it has been a lot of uh, persistence and um, pushing myself to, to beat myself, to, to, to better myself in, in, in the skill and t taking images. And then from that, I can attest to the downs and uh, ups and downs in, in, in doing the photography. And I've been able to achieve uh, some milest milestones uh, as a photographer, and I'm so grateful. 30-year-old Moses would establish modern photography in 2010. We all have the ability to brew an idea, give a perception, condemn an action, but what makes us unique is how we do it. Your action and energy put into what you do is what makes you stand out, and Moses knows this a bit too well. Being able to, to build, that, build, build that rapport with a client, uh, build that relationship, and uh, for, for a long time, there's been a misconception believing that doing, um, you could be really good, uh, you could be a very, very talented photographer, but being not, not being able to be professional and also build a very good relationship with um, your, your subjects, uh, that, that being my client. And I think that has gone a long way. I've been able to, to get referrals and go to places that I would never imagine that would be um, uh, in the last two years or three years something like that. Challenges are inevitable. However, how you choose to overcome them is what matters in your entrepreneurial journey. Many perceive photography to be simply the action of clicking a button and voila, a still image is captured. But hardly do we think about the intricacies in the process of capturing the perfect shot. One of the major challenges that we face um, in the photography fraternity, and I don't want to speak for even uh, on my other colleagues in different aspects, I should ask them, buying the equipment uh, can be a big hassle. I, I remember for, for myself, um, the first camera I would hide uh, in a place called uh, Diani. So I'd commute from Mombasa to Diani. I would get a job um, for as low as I think 5,000, and then I would be able to pay the owner of the camera about 2,000. So you could imagine me commuting from Mombasa to Diani, totally make that difference. And um, cameras that we use um, for photography, um, if you really want a good camera, uh, depending on the type of photography that you're venturing into, uh, if you have a budget between $1,500 to, uh, I think, $6,000 or $7,000, depending on what type of photography you're doing. So equipment is really expensive. Lighting is really expensive. And then also another challenge is that um, um, the public, the, the, the clientele, people have not been able to appreciate and just pay for photography very well because people take it... Uh, Look at it from a cliche perspective, like it's just, just pictures, what is so big about pictures? Moses is a graduate of public relations from the University of Nairobi. Before embarking in self-employment, he worked at African Coffee as a clerk. Philip Kotler says the winning strategy in any business is to carefully define the target market and understand the need that comes to the particular group so as to meet the need with sufficient supplies. The type of clientele that I've been able to, to serve for, for the recent years I've been able to do a bit of uh, wedding photography, um, uh, a bit of uh, candid photography, whereby you just go to the streets, um, still moments, people in the element, working. And the, the one that I've really been big on and I'm really passionate about is uh, portraits, I'm doing a lot of portraits. Um, it is an, an area that I'm very passionate about and also doing a lot of uh, community-based work. It's more of like a documentary type of photography, whereby um, it would, it would have me going to 
the very normal environments uh, where people are, are doing their Jiwakali work, uh, documenting their work, here, listening to their stories, and just taking part in the process and understanding what, what they are doing and be able to appreciate.